Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2, where as you may notice, I made a slight change to the battle plan here. The, uh, the plan is actually exactly the same, I just cleaned it up slightly. So essentially this army in phase 2 would be responsible for sweeping the majority of this region. Like, like so. Now it's going to take a long time for them to execute that, however, this army here in phase 2 will have swept up to Atbara, and this army here will be here and then in Misawa. So theoretically, they can hold they can hold anything off. Actually, they'd probably be in Accordat, now that I think about it. So we'd have one in Accordat, one in Atbara, and then this one pushing down here. But we can go directly from Atbara to Obeid here. So that would be perfectly fine, defensively. The real question is, do we get an opportunity to fight Egypt? Currently, we do have a truce with Egypt, I believe. I think we still have a truce. Let me check that. Uh, I forget where we see it now. Oh boy, okay. Here it is. They have a truce with us until 1844. Their truce with the Ottomans is up this year, though. So that's fascinating. Okay. Sounds good. In the meantime, we are banking up money, and what do we want to do with that? Well, our middle class still aren't getting a lot of their needs. I'm not sure there's a lot we can do about that at this point until after this war. Everybody else is getting their needs, which is nice. We're spending as much as we can on trade. Which isn't a whole lot, ultimately. But I'm just going to tick this forward here a little bit. And we'll see how this ends up going. I mean, Egypt is the only nation that could potentially threaten us. And what is their military rank? Their military power is currently 50. Compare that to ours, which is around here somewhere. Probably in here? No, I guess it's probably in the Diplomacy tab, isn't it? We would see that in here. Let's sort by country. Ethiopia is here. We have a military rank of 40 compared to their military rank of 50. So we are more powerful than them militarily right now. That's nice. But we do still have a fair amount of work to do. Because in this time, I'm expecting Egypt to bulk up their military quite a lot. Because they have two more years. I'm hoping the Ottomans attack them again. That would be ideal. And then we can take this territory here. Because realistically, looking at the regions... So we would just get this here. Is this part of Eritrea? Yeah, this is part of Eritrea. So we'd get all of this and have ourselves a couple of coastal provinces, which would be super good. What do these produce? Uh, let's see here, this is fruit, 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 and fruit. Okay, that's uh, less good. Prices of luxury clothes have risen. Excellent. France is expanding. Province of Tunis now belongs to France. Oh my. Portugal must be sad. Poor, poor Portugal. And Spain, for that matter. Okay, so. We're kind of floating at uh, around minus one per month. I don't think we need to be spending 5% on our defense spending right now. We can crank that up once we actually have need of our soldiers. And that should mean we're steadily gaining money. I still haven't figured out what we can spend our money on other than imports with this level of tech. I think not a whole lot, so we can just bank up for now. I would very much like it if we had enough uh, soldiers to have a few more brigades. Of course, we can't really get ourselves any, uh... So, do we just not have enough soldiers here to support building an army, I'm guessing? Yeah, I, I think that's the case. 
We're currently focusing on growing our soldiers up here. Which is good, because we have one brigade from Gondor Tigre, but we it's not allowed to have a brigade because we don't have enough soldiers there. So I think as soon as this goes up to one out of one, and then maybe anything else in the region... Yeah, three out of two. So as soon as this goes up as well, as soon as Gondor Tigre goes up to supporting all 11 of our current brigades, then I think we'll switch our focus to maybe Amhara over here. What's the population of Amhara? Can we see the regions? Like the regional population? I'm sure we can somewhere. Region map mode isn't helpful there. Uh, what about population map mode? Is there a population map mode? Recruitment map mode. That's exciting. We can support some Sudanese soldiers up here. I kind of don't want to do that, though. Let's see. This is poor citizen mobilization. Sounds good. And we have zero ships because we're landlocked. That's to be expected. So this infrastructure map mode. We've got our population statistics there. I want to be able to build some infrastructure because I want to spend some of this money that we've got. We've got quite a lot of money. Province is a rally point for various things. Merging at destination. Okay. That's fine. I'll leave that the way it is right now. Then if we go back into recruitment map mode, we can see that these three locations here are all overburdened. Can we rebase our infantry to be like, for example, these guys here, can we change where they're reinforced from? That'd be nice if we could, but I don't think we can. Okay, and we're still having steady losses in the Conservative Party. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that right now. Hundred and twenty seven people in the soldier pop in Axum, yeah. That's pretty small, all right. I mean, we're pretty much all farmers, which explains a lot. Immoral business here, huh? Oh boy. Rising crime rates and less government control, businessmen would become more and more... No, come back. Centered on their own profits. This results in a higher risk of collapse for the entire system as everybody strives for personal interests. How do we do something about that? Oh, looks like it went away. Because it was fighting crime. We've got rotten burrows here. Okay. Blue pandemic. The Spanish flu was an influenza pandemic that killed somewhere between 50 to 100 million people worldwide between the years 1918 to 1920. Due to increased trade, colonial contacts, commerce, and other myriads of global connections that had all increasingly made the world a smaller place throughout the 19th century, the Spanish flu was able to spread quickly across the world in a mere few years. Further aggravated by the ongoing First World War, which uh, definitely hasn't happened yet, okay, and the cramped living conditions in the trenches, the Spanish flu is one of the first and most terrifying examples of a truly global pandemic. And to think of it. Haven't you been feeling a bit feverish lately? Oh my. Okay. So a pop growth reduction and pop consciousness increase. Or we can spend a little bit of money and have exactly the same effect, but it ends a little bit shorter. Like, it, it doesn't last quite as long. 134 pounds. We've got plenty for that. So we're absolutely going to spend the money. The Ottoman Empire goes to war against Egypt. 
and Egypt fears our might. Okay, so the Ottoman Empire is fighting Egypt? According to the newspaper? Yeah. I'm happy about that. I hope that war carries on for a while. They're at rank 114 military. Their military is getting crushed right now. Can we justify? I would like to justify right now. I realize we've got a, uh, a truce. We have to wait out the truce. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, that's going to set them back on rebuilding their military, to be sure. The Ottomans are not really pushing in right now, but uh, what's the CB for here? Can we see? Like, if we go into Diplomacy Wars... Ottoman liberation of Egyptian Aleppo. And that's going to be over pretty soon, honestly. So let's head, head into region map mode and look at Aleppo. So that's this right here that they're going for. Okay. How much pop is up here? A good chunk of their population, actually, is going to be lost to the Ottomans. Well, ultimately, the Ottomans are going to be a problem for us. But for right now, I'm okay with just carving up Egypt with them. So let's continue pushing forward. Actually, uh, can we get any of our... If we go into our politics tab. Can we get any of our reforms yet? 6,000 we have right now. We need 6,700. So not quite yet. We're getting close to being able to get foreign training methods, so... Which is going to help us a lot. Excellent. Whoa, why are we... Lo oh, we're losing so many people because of the Spanish flu. That's why. I was going to say. Okay, our average militancy is going down. Our consciousness is going up. Mostly because of the pandemic influenza. Okay. I would really like it if our uh, soldier pop was growing over here, but I really don't think it is. Let's take a look at the population. Soldiers are 0.6%. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I forgot that it stops the music when I tab out. <laughs> First Farmer's Bank is happening again. We can nationalize the bank. This event we've seen before. So we could have them gain consciousness, gain militancy, or we get money, and they gain more militancy. Now, they didn't have much militancy over here before. Let's take a look at their population statistics. And let's see here. In Ethiopian Aromia, we'll sort by militancy. There are some here. Okay. Okay. How long will this last? Just until it decays. I think right now I'd rather let them have the consciousness. We don't really need the money, per se. Okay, so when is this Spanish flu going to go away? Because that's obnoxious. It was like... March of next year, I think. We are kind of being ravaged here, though. Losing over a thousand pop a day? Yikes. That's a lot of gains wiped out. Good news is, our militancy is declining. Bad news is, our consciousness is increasing. Okay, so where do we see our national modifiers? There must be here, perhaps? Let's see. I don't see our modifiers here, per se. 
We've got some infamy. That's nice. But, uh, no, that's, uh, not showing us modifiers. Maybe in here? Nope. Okay. So it's not there. Maybe in politics. Nope. I would think it would be in our national overview, but this is just diplomacy. So where's our national overview, if there is one in this game? Still trying to figure out my way through this UI, but I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm not sure where our national modifiers would be found. Be nice to know that. How's the Ottomans doing up here? No idea. They, uh, maybe haven't started yet. Although maybe they have, because they had like 8 war score, right? 19% war score. Okay. And our truce with Egypt is, of course, going to be up in uh, 18 November. We have a CB to acquire core on them. Because we cored Eritrea. That's right. So I don't think we even need to justify. So I think as soon as our truce is up with them, we can immediately go in. 18 November, so about a year. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to fight Egypt again. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.